Environmental policy is important to corporations and governments. Uh, it's important to control your waste stream. It's important to protect your workers. It's important to dispose of things properly. As you're going to see in this compilation, the Church of Scientology doesn't have a firm environmental policy. We have documented evidence of workers not being treated safely. For example, no respirators, being exposed to asbestos, being exposed to hazardous substances. I was sent to Las Vegas. Um, there were a few of us there. There was another girl that was with me. Um, she was a minor at the time. A minor? She was 17. Mm -hmm. And um, we were told they have a very large like auditorium in that church. And we had to climb up through the ceilings and remove fiberglass, which was very uncomfortable. It made us very like itchy, red. Um, and we removed about 19 like full, huge bags of this. Of fiberglass. Of fiberglass. We went ourselves and we got um, some little cloth to put over us, basically. Um, but we didn't really have anything else. You know, there's Saint Oma here is Saint Omer, where Aaron Hubbard has lived, and there is the castle, and here is um, here is the hill, and here is the lake, and um, everything which comes from the toilets goes through the lake through a pipe, and that pipe was broken. So me, as an APFer, I had to take the shit from the toilets out from the lake with a jumpsuit, right, and with my hands. And I couldn't believe that I should do that. Punishing people with the most grueling cleaning projects is a standard procedure that's... Grueling. Grueling. grueling to be abusive. To be humiliating. I mean, I worked, I worked... I did nothing but clean toilets and bathrooms and showers for two and a half years. After my first year, I got pretty, pretty what they call flat, meaning like it didn't bother me anymore. But. Um, yeah, so there's those things, uh, any, anything having to do with grease, um, cleaning out the dumpster. Me and my mom were basically just in the pits. Spiritually, financially, our bodies were ready to go. I had what was, what's called candida, and it was to its maximal point with me, where you had the thing on the tongue, you know, I was starting to get, um, like, I need, I need a lot of sleep. Um, if I had a day off, I'd just sleep the whole day. Um, all the symptoms that you can find with it and you know starting to have um, heart pain where that's like near the final stage before death. Uh, the footage that's most shocking that you're going to see is the untreated sewage at St. Hill. It goes through a very rudimentary process that amounts to not treating at all. It's more than just St. Hill. It's sunshine and showers. And it's the most incredible flowers. It's winding paths and whispering trees. It's a tranquility that's hard to believe. It's seasons that are all special in their own way. Sometimes all in a single day. St. Hill is life.
And this begs the question, if you have $1.5 billion, why don't you clean up your own facilities first? And in fact, this goes to the larger question, if you're a church, why don't you clean up your own house before you clear the planet? Shoes aren't new. <laughs> Of course it's hypocritical to, to preach one thing and do another. They could charge as much as $4.25 for a copy of The Way to Happiness. Costs them maybe a penny to make. So in addition to the ripoff, you know, selling copies of The Way to Happiness at exorbitant profit margins, which a church shouldn't do, yeah, they're not practicing what they preach. Scientology has what's called a large waste stream. It has a huge field of debris mostly human wreckage, but there's also a lot of pollution. Pollution from the free winds in Bonaire when it dumps its bilges, trucks pump it out and dump it on the island. The free winds has been coming to Bonaire for over five years now, and every day she comes, there's a continuous flow of trucks removing water Water that the crew say, and the port captain says, is as good enough to drink and means no environmental damage to us whatsoever. I think there's a question to that. Well, the people of Bonaire are particularly, you know, they're quiet people and they don't like to talk about the problems that they have, both domestically and environmentally. This, unfortunately, is a very large problem that we need to face right now. We can't afford to let it go on any longer. This is a bubbling pit of all sorts of toxicity, toxicities that just won't go away. They're going to drain and leach into our water table and it's a real mess. They sod down trees in clear water. They do things that you would be fined for if anyone found out. And again, that's part of the code of secrecy. They don't think they're subject to the law. They think that's WAG law and they're above it. But they're going to find out they're not above WAG law. Nobody is above WAG law.